What's up guys? Got a very exciting video for you today. Um, went to a uh, knife show um, near me not too long ago and um, made myself a purchase uh, of my first uh, custom knife which uh, I'm really really excited about. Um, walked around for maybe like two hours checking out all the booths and everything you know looking at uh, you know all the dealers all the Spyderco dealers and whatnot you know talking about prices and stuff trying to find deals um, but not really much was swinging it for me and then uh, just before I was about to leave I ran into this uh, table that I had kinda passed over previously and um, it was uh, it's the table of Clarence de Jong who um, specializes in file knives. Um, so I guess I'll just show you guys this now. It's kind of a, a little drop point hunter. Um, but this is made out of an auto body rasp. Uh, not sure exactly you know, what kind of steel it is. Um, Clarence specializes in file knives and uh, kind of found a little niche there for himself. And I gotta tell you, his work is just absolutely amazing. I mean, just super clean. Everything was perfect. You know, you know, I was walking around and looking at all the makers and whatnot, and like 90% of the knives are just all, you know, flat grind, mirror polish. You know, hides all the little imperfections in the grind. You know, you can you can just polish all that out, and you can't tell. But especially with this, since it's made out of a file, you can see the perfect line that these little marks make, or that the, the little teeth make along the grind. It's just perfectly straight on both sides, and it just shows, like, the quality of craftsmanship that went into this knife. Beautiful, um, amb what is it, Amboinia, Amboinia Burl, um, bad at pronouncing stuff, but, uh, and it's got a really unique, um, you know, I guess you could say grind to the handle. It really unique contours, you know, just the, you don't see angular stuff like this too often. And, uh, I don't know, this rasp itself is kind of cool, but the, just, it's just absolutely gorgeous. He filled in the teeth uh, under the handle with epoxy, um, so you get a perfect, you know, flat surface to put your uh, pins on and whatnot. Um, I talked with him for a while uh, about knife making and stuff. He's a really, really, really nice guy. He was uh, super excited to sell this one. He said it was one of his favorites. Uh, you can see there the Clarence de Young, number 681. Um, came with this certificate of authenticity. It's got all the information on there. And he's a just like I said, really really nice guy. Um, also amazing leather work here. Um, this really nice um, pouch sheath uh, just holds the knife in. If I were to use this, which I don't plan on it because it's my first custom knife and it's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, but really nice sheath set up for scout carry. Um, just beautiful leather work. Really fits the knife well. Um, I don't know. I don't really have too much else to say. Just uh, showing off this beautiful piece of art that I picked up the other day. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I uh, searched around. And I haven't found tons of information on uh, Clarence, but um, you know, just a few random posts every now and then. Somebody talking about his work. But I don't know if you haven't um, heard of him. If you ever have a chance to uh, meet him at a show, he's a really, really nice guy, and. Uh, as you can see, he does amazing work. So, there's that. That's all for tonight. Peace.